I just got done rebuilding the C15 Caterpillar with a new head, new injectors, new oil pump, new cylinder packs, new bearings, and the first thing Cat has to do is put it on the dyno. So we've got the front tires strapped down here. It's passenger side. This is the driver's side. Strapped down to these little uh, steel rails they put in the floor, and you just run a chain and then this uh, ratchet strap to it. Get the tires tight so they don't don't roll on you because we don't uh, we don't want this truck moving when it's on the dyno. Going to show you the rear rollers here. So here's your two rear rollers. Uh, both tires are set off the ground, obviously, on these rollers. And then you have to strap the rear so it doesn't move. So there's this chain you run from this anchor point here, and then you run it to the diff. And just make sure it's not interfering with the uh, air leveling valve or, you know, hitting anything else. And our dyno is a uh, water pump setup. You can see these water pumps going to that tank. It uh, has cooling towers on the roof. And that's what applies the resistance to the rollers. There's our air vents for exhaust. And here's the truck uh, starting up. It's going to uh, be put in gear in seventh gear high. And then it's going to idle and we'll speed about 25 miles per hour. And here's a view of the inside of the cab. This is the, the uh, dyno controller. You can see the uh, engine RPM on the left there. I've got no boost yet because we're not under load, we're just idling. Uh, cooling temps at 142, oil temps at 142. The wheel speed's about 25 miles an hour. Inside the cab, we've got 550 horsepower at the wheels, measured by the dyno. Our wheel speed's around 42 miles an hour. Uh, engine speed's around 1400 RPM. Boost is at 31 psi. Intake manifold temps at about 92. Pull temps up to 192. Uh, oil pressure's good at 72. Looks good. Then it will apply more load to it and drag the engine speed back down to 1600. And we're pushing 605 horsepower there. Our wheel speed's about 52 miles an hour. So you can see it's run a little high at about 1640 RPMs, but it's slowly going to bring that down to 1600. Uh, got 31 pounds of boost. Our take air temps up to 100. You can see it's slowly pulling that RPM down. It's dragging that engine speed down. And this is a full load. This is the most horsepower this engine is going to make. 605. Our coolant temp looks pretty good. About 196. So making 605 horsepower at 1600 RPM. Check out my other videos. I have one on being a diesel mechanic, 
one on what type of tools I use. And if you enjoy them, please like and subscribe. Thank you.